Hello Kelly Cougars and welcome to your online library classroom. This week I am introducing Native American Heritage Month and our learning target continues to be identifying book genres. Let's get started. What is Native American Heritage Month? This month across the United States we are celebrating the lives, histories, and contributions of Native Americans. While we learn how to find a just right book using the five finger rule, we will be taking a closer look at Native American authors and illustrators and books that tell Native American stories. Let's learn a little bit about how the holiday began. November is Native American Heritage Month. It honors the indigenous people who lived on the land that became the United States before Europeans arrived. Indigenous people are native to a particular area and often preserve their traditional ways of living. A century ago, a Seneca Indian named Dr. Arthur C. Parker realized that the contributions of Native Americans to the development of America ought to be recognized. He encouraged the Boy Scouts to have a special First Americans Day. Then, in 1914, a Native American Boy Scout named Red Fox James set out on his horse on a 4,000-mile journey to visit the governors of 24 states and gain their support for a national Native American holiday. In 1918, New York declared a state holiday on the second Saturday in May to recognize Native American achievements. Other states followed, and eventually, in 1990, President George H.W. Bush proclaimed all of November as Native American Heritage Month. November is important to many Native Americans as a traditional time for celebration after a successful harvest season. During the month, Native Americans across the country, in both national and local celebrations, share their customs, culture, and legacy. How do you commemorate Native American Heritage Month in your family, school, or community? Well, before we dive into a book together, we're going to start by reviewing our learning target. What is a book genre? For review, a book genre is just a fancy name for books that share a certain style, form, or content. The style can be scary, romantic, historical. The form can be a graphic novel, a chapter book, a novel, a reference book, like a dictionary, or an electronic book an ebook. The content can be fiction, nonfiction, or informational, poetry, or a story collection. During today's read aloud, I want you to think which genre or genres does this story belong to? Remember this genre wheel? We have used it in the last two weeks of activities, and we're going to use it again today. You can participate in today's activity by starting with a notebook and recording your answers in a notebook and then typing them onto this electronic handout that is attached in Seesaw, or you can print this out if you have a printer and write directly on it and then take a picture of it and share it with me that way. What I would like for you to do is to mark each piece of slice or write down each book genre that the book that you hear today belongs to. The title of the story is Fry Bread, a Native American Family Story by Kevin Noble Milliard. Remember, books can belong to more than one genre. So while you're listening to this story, you might decide that this book belongs to more than one book genre. There are two parts to this book. You can see I am pictured on this slide, and the title of that video is Fry Bread Author Notes. The very end of Kevin's story about fry bread has an entry titled Author Notes, where he shares his journey and the history of indigenous people or Native American nations in the United States or North America. And I would like for you to listen to that first before listening to Kevin read aloud the book that he wrote, Fry Bread. 
And the title of that would be Virtual Storytime Fry Bread with Kevin Noble Milliard. You can find the links to both of these videos on Seesaw on this activity's instructions. You will need to click on the link for each one. I am not going to play them for you here. Instead, you're going to finish watching this slideshow and then go to the instructions part of this activity and click on Fry Bread Author Notes. Watch that video. Use your handout. Use your notebook. Fill in the genre slices. And then when that's finished, do the same thing for the same book, but the story part that is read aloud by Kevin. That's the second link in the directions. Please let me know if you have any questions. Before, whoops. All right, and here's your bonus activity. You do not have to do this. This is just up here for fun. And I included this in the template as well. So you can make your own fry bread or Kevin's fry bread. So here is Kevin's recipe and the directions for making that fry bread. If you decide to give it a try, make sure you do this with an adult. It involves boiling oil, which can be dangerous, and boiling water. So make sure that you have an adult with you if you decide to try this style of fry bread. I look forward to seeing your genre handouts and to seeing any pictures of the fry bread you may be making over the next week. Until next time, Kelly Cougars.